I'm not suggesting a retreat from globalization altogether because of our planetary impact. All humans are now sharing a common destiny. I do think we've got to, if it starts looking that we can't cope with this, we've got to start thinking about what we can leave behind for the people that will rebuild. Um, my name is Diane Dumanowski, and I'm the author of The End of the Long Summer, and I live in Newton, Massachusetts, right on the edge of Boston. Well, my book discusses climate change, but it is not the kind of climate change book that I think we've seen to date. It's not a classic, here's the problem, here's the 10-point plan, techno fix that is going to get us out of it. It's also not a, a science reporting book that's telling us all the details of how carbon dioxide is affecting the oceans or the coral reefs or forests or whatever. I'm saying, among other things, that it, this is not basically a crisis only for the Earth. This is fundamentally a human crisis. And in the longer run, the Earth is going to be fine. This is not about the planet ultimately. Earth has survived all sorts of catastrophes. What's at stake is the stable climate that is allowed for the kind of civilization that we have right now. And the, the thing that I really want to do in this book is bring the conversation to a new level. And we've got to understand that it's critical that we do everything possible to avoid the worst now. Well, through this globalization, we're putting ourselves all on a giant Titanic. And it's, it's absolutely the wrong strategy for this moment in human history. It may make sense from a business point of view for profit and efficiency, but it is really not the kind of security for a time of instability. Globalization only makes sense in its current economic form if you can be sure tomorrow is going to be like today. And I guarantee you the one thing I know in this time of radical uncertainty is that tomorrow is not going to be like today. We are now in a system that is so out on a limb and so linked to just-in-time supply of basic things, including the parts for our computers and all kinds of things, that the minute FedEx does not fly, the world shuts down, basically in about three days. It's not an easy truth, and there's not a ten-point plan that we're now looking at a time when nature is going to be returning to center stage in human history. And the question is how we're going to survive that. If only we knew enough to know it was too late, we could all party. But we can't. You know, it's basically our responsibility to, to the, those that preceded us and those that follow to basically find a way through this thicket of uncertainty. And I really believe that humans have the capacity to, to rise to this challenge. Now, whether our civilization can rise to the challenge is a separate question, and I think the jury is still out on that. I think um, that humans in some shape can make it through this and have another chapter, but um, we can do it. <laughs>